Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Batman the Three Jokers, the Joker, the criminal variation. Batman the Three Jokers is a comic where there are apparently three different people operating as Joker in Gotham City. Shout out to my boy Corey for picking this up for me today. He found this at Target, so I say I got this figure at the Corey Mart. Let's go and check out the packaging here. As you can see at the top, 22 moving parts, McFarlane toys, HS12+, plus, DC Multiverse, the Joker, the Criminal. Here he is in the package. He's got a display stand, a collector's card, and then a Joker cane. One side of the package, the Joker, the Criminal from Batman, the three Jokers. Other side, the Joker, the Criminal. At the bottom, got a bunch of credits, and there is a barcode, in case it helps anybody. And on the back side, here's the Joker pose up with his cane. And here a bunch of other recently released McFarland DC Multiverse figures you should check out. So, with no further ado, let's open him up. And I did end up getting two of these figures. One of which to open and enjoy. And one to keep unopened in my complete 6 and 7 inch Batman and related unopened action figure collection. Here are all three of the different three Jokers figures. The Criminal, the Comedian, and the Clown. Just a reminder, the Criminal and the Clown are going to be available anywhere. The Comedian is a shared exclusive between GameStop and Walmart. You will only find him there. And here are all the figures I have so far for the three Jokers wave. I'm only missing Batman and the unpainted platinum version of the Red Hood. Looking to be one of the best Batman waves that McFarlane has made so far. Alright, now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He does come with a display stand, a collector's card, and a Joker cane. But before I take a look at the accessories, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is the Joker from the three Jokers. This is the criminal variant. This is the only Joker figure from this line that isn't smiling. I think it's pretty good, pretty serious, pretty stern. I believe the comedian is the leader of this group. But if I were to guess without knowing, I would have guessed this guy's the leader. He looks like he's planning something, pondering, not necessarily smiling and laughing like the other two. So let's take a look at him. Starting with his face here, it looks great. That frowning face, pretty unusual for a Joker. Hair slick black, it's green. Got some dark greens and black mixed in. Eyes, black around, sort of sunken in. He's got the pronounced lines on his cheeks. Head sculpt is amazing. Purple outfit, black trimming, white shirt, black bow tie. Looks like double jointed elbows, double jointed knees. Now boy, look at the difference in the purple in the joints. They messed that up pretty bad. I do understand at the factories they make those pieces separately, but God, it's very noticeable. Probably my biggest complaint about this guy. Dress shoes. No sort of tail on his jacket. Overall he looks great. Joints a little bit distracting beyond that great addition to the three jokers and then just a closer look at his face and head sculpt all three of these three jokers have amazing face sculpts and before we continue with the video I just wanted to give you a full view of this custom joker diorama that I have my boy Albert made this for me he's one of my subscribers this diorama is absolutely amazing top-notch quality looks great and it's very large it is great for the three jokers figures and i'm probably going to be using that for all my different joker figure reviews at least for quite some time now let's take a look at his accessories and let's start with the boring stuff here's a display stand typical mcfarland stand black perfect circle one peg for the pegs on his feet says dc at the bottom very thin very basic now let's take a look at his collector's card. As you can see, it's an image of the criminal Joker walking down the hallway with his cane. The Joker, the criminal from Batman 3 Jokers. On the back side, there is a description. If you want to read that, go ahead and pause now. I do notice it says he's a little more serious than the other Jokers. He wants the world to see the Joker as more than just an agent of chaos. Now let's look at his cane. Joker cane, very appropriate for a Joker figure. It's got gold at the top there, the handle, and the rest is simply black. 
It does appear to be a little bit oversized for the figure. The mine also appears to be a little bit warped for the package. I'm going to dip it into some boiling water and let it correct itself. I went ahead and brought some water to a boil, threw this cane in there, and it simply corrected itself. Now it's perfectly straight. Here's the Joker walking and holding his cane. Of course, he can also hold it in the air. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to the top of his head, he's standing at about 7.2 inches tall, which can translate to about 18 centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Starting with his head here, of course, it can rotate from side to side. You can look up about that far, down about that far. You can tilt his head from one side to the other. Give him good amount of personality. Shoulders on ball joint goes up about 90 degrees, up, down, around, all that good stuff. He does have a butterfly joint between his shoulder and chest area, just increasing the range of motion there. Bicep cut below that. Double jointed elbows. His wrist here has a ball in it. Can rotate. It's going to be hinged as well. Now you can't really see what's going on in his torso. I'm assuming he's got a ball joint in his torso and in his waist. You're not going to be able to use the one his torso very much, but his waist works just fine. Kind of rotate around, go forward and back. Legs, does a splits. Not a ball joint, but a similar type of idea. The rotation is almost non existent. They go forward, about that much, back, about that far. Double jointed knees below that. Then his ankle here goes forward and back. Can rotate, can tilt and rock. And he has tour articulation. I wanted to look at the reuse between all three of the three Joker's figures. Starting with the bottom, they definitely have the exact same feet and the exact same legs. Now, you can't really see everything going on underneath this guy's jacket, but it looks like their crotch diaper pieces are the same. Their hands appear to all be the same. Now this is where they're going to change up a little bit. Obviously his jacket, his jacket, and his jacket are all a little bit different. But it looks like the torso underneath are the same. They all have the same bow tie. Now this guy has a different head, but these two have the exact same head. So if you look at these two figures, honestly the only differences are going to be the outer suit jacket and the head. Now considering how much reuse there is, they did a great job making all three of them look different. Here are all three of the three Jokers together in their Joker base. They're in their lair, planning something sinister. Here's the Joker, beating Jason Todd with a crowbar. They both have a strange feeling of deja vu during all of this. Here's this criminal Joker, doing his failed comedy act at the comedy club. I actually think this works best for this Joker out of these three. He has that unhappy face, like he knows the crowd is not feeling his act. Always like having the Joker as a failed comedian. Very Killing Joke-esque. Here's the Joker on stage, with a bunch of his Joker whores admiring him. Now let's check him out, next to some other action figures. Starting off with some other McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here are all three of the three Jokers. We have the comedian, the criminal, and the clown. Very happy to finally have them together. Here's the rest of the three Jokers wave that I have so far. Still need to find my three Jokers Batman. Really looking forward to him. Then, next to McFarlane's Mortal Kombat 11 Joker. Here are all the different type of Joker figures McFarlane has made so far. White Knight, Rebirth, three Jokers, Mortal Kombat, and Arkham Asylum. Add in a couple of Arkham variants, and these are all the Joker figures McFarlane has made so far. The next one they're releasing is going to be from The Dark Knight Returns. And here he is, next to the Joker Batman robot from the Batman Beyond Future's End Wave. Then, next to all McFarlane's Harley Quinn figures. Now let's check him out, next to some other recently released McFarlane DC Multiverse figures. Here he is, next to a couple of Lex Luthor figures. Then, next to Superboy Prime and Lobo. And here he is, next to the Hazmat Suit Batman and the Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman Blue Edition. Then, next to a couple of Swamp Thing Mega Figures. Here's the Joker, with a few DC Direct Arkham City Joker thugs. These guys are 7 inch scale and fit in pretty good with him. And now, next to a couple of McFarlane Spawn Clown Violator figures. These make for some good Joker henchmen. Now let's check them out, next to some action figures from different various companies 
to see how he fits in, both scale and style-wise, in case you don't know which lines you can mix them with. Since he's a McFarland figure, they're typically the 7-inch scale. I'm going to start off my comparisons with some of the larger action figure lines I collect and work with my smaller. And I'm going to include as many Joker figures as I can during these comparisons. Here he is with some of his McFarland Toys brothers. In front of you are five different action figure lines, all from McFarland Toys, all 7-inch scale. Then, with some more McFarland Toys, these are from different various video game properties. And now, next to some Jack specific wrestling figures. Each one of these guys functions as a Joker thug in my action figure world. And here he is, next to some DST or Diamond Select toys. Then, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles Joker figures. And here, with some NECA figures. Then, next to some Mattel wrestling figures. These also function as Joker henchmen in my action figure collection. And now, next to some Jazzwares AEW wrestling figures. And here he is. Next to some Mezco 112 collective figures. Then, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse Joker figures. And here he is, next to some Mapex Joker figures. Here's Joker, next to the amazing Yamaguchi Joker. Then, next to some Hasbro Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH Figure Arts Joker figures. And finally, next to some Jazz Wars Fortnite figures. Overall, this is a fantastic Joker figure. I really like the way he looks. He has a very serious face, not smiling like your average Joker. And that's appropriate for certain circumstances. This guy's sculpt and paint job are excellent. No issues there. Only his elbows and knees being that different shade of purple. Very noticeable. Once you see it, it's very hard to unsee it. His accessories? Eh, garbage. I don't really care about that Joker cane. Probably the worst accessory that came with any of the three Joker figures. His articulation is just fine. I would rate this guy an 8 out of 10, but I think the knees and elbows are going to push him down to a 7.5. What kind of world do we live in where McFarland is going to offer us four absolutely fantastic Joker figures pretty much all at the same time? That is just great. I think my favorite of the three Jokers is going to be the Comedian, but the other two are not far behind. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add it to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate it when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.